Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When working with documents, you will often want to move or copy text or other selected document elements from one place to another. Word makes this frequent occurrence easy to manage through the use of the clipboard feature. If you click the Home tab in the ribbon, you will see the Clipboard button group at the left end. In this group, you will see the Cut, Copy, and Paste command buttons that allow you to move or copy text in your document. Note that these same buttons are also used to move or copy other selectable document elements like inserted pictures, for example. There is also a Format Painter command found in this button group. The Format Painter allows you to select a whole section of text and copy the formatting from that section to another part of your document or a new document. In addition to using the command buttons, there are also other ways to copy and paste selected text and objects within your documents. You can use your mouse or keyboard to cut, copy, and paste selected document elements by selecting and then right-clicking on the selection. You can then choose the command function to perform from the menu of choices displayed. You can also press the Ctrl plus X keys to cut and the Ctrl plus C keys to copy selected items. These functions are so important in Word that there are multiple ways of performing these tasks. Therefore, there is no single right way to do it. Simply use the method that you prefer. If your goal is to move a selection, either selected text or a selected document element, from one location to another location within the document, then you will use the cut function before you paste the data. If your goal is to copy a selection and then paste the copy to one or more locations elsewhere within the document, you will want to use the copy function before you paste the data. There are a few tips you should know about cutting and pasting or moving text and copying and pasting or copying text. First, you should know that if you display the Office clipboard, then you may cut or copy multiple objects before pasting them by using the Office clipboard as temporary storage for the items you cut or copy. If you do not use the clipboard, then if you cut or copy an object or text, and then cut or copy another element without pasting the first one, then you will lose the first item that you selected to cut or copy. This makes using the Office Clipboard a wise choice. Secondly, remember that the Undo button can fix most mistakes that you make. As you learn to cut, copy, and paste text and objects, make sure that you keep this fact in mind. You can display the clipboard by clicking the Clipboard Pane Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Clipboard button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. When using the clipboard, you will find that when you paste content from the clipboard, it will not be immediately cleared from the Office clipboard. The Office clipboard will hold that object until you close the program or clear the clipboard. Therefore, once you copy an object, you can paste it over and over again. You can even paste document elements into other Microsoft Office applications, like Microsoft Excel or Microsoft PowerPoint, for example. When you're ready, Simply place the cursor at the point you want to paste the cut or copied selection. You can then click the Home tab in the ribbon and then click the Paste button. The selection will be pasted into the point your cursor is at in the document. You could also simply right click the insertion point and then choose the Paste command or press the Ctrl plus V keys on your keyboard. You can display more paste options by clicking the drop-down portion of the Paste button that appears in the Home tab of the ribbon within the Clipboard button group. These options are listed as icons in the drop-down menu. They are from left to right, Use Destination Theme, Keep Source Formatting, Merge Formatting, Keep Text Only, and often Picture. The letters after the command name signify the corresponding key badge when using the Alt key for shortcuts. You will also see the Paste Special command, which will launch the Paste Special dialog box. Here you can choose to paste your selection as one of the items listed within the labeled box. You can first choose the format you want, and then click the OK button to insert a cut or copied selection in the chosen format. The final option that appears in the Paste drop-down button is the Set Default Paste command. Clicking this command will open the Word Options dialog box and display the Advanced section. In the Cut, Copy, and Paste section, you can use the drop-downs and checkboxes to set the default parameters to use when cutting, copying, and pasting items in your documents. You can then click the OK button to save your changes and close the Word Options dialog box. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.